Hey y'all. So thank you again to everybody that came on the live tonight. I am unbelievably celebrating one month as a YouTube content creator. Um, <laughs> some may think that it's super crazy to be celebrating one month, but I thought about it like a baby. Um, you know, when we have a baby, we're excited when they get to their one month milestone and then two months and then around two months, you know, they start cooing and, and, um, looking at you and they kind of recognize your voice really well and in three months they're sitting up and um well not completely sitting up but you know trying to hold their head steady and the next thing you know somewhere between three and six months they just start rolling over and um sitting up and trying to take your food when you put it in your mouth and then as time goes on there's just each a milestone every step of the way and so that's how i see this and so i was so excited to get to this day um did i think i would be at a different place um as far as um subscribers yeah i did i, I just to be honest i have like i think 1600 facebook friends i'm not sure how many people follow me on instagram i don't even know how many people follow me on twitter but um, on those platforms um so i thought that it, it, at minimum the people that support me on a regular basis um would support me here i did find out in in this one month that um it was one friend that and I, i've shouted her out before that tagged me um erica starkeisha garrison um but she not only shared it but shouted me out and encouraged her friends to go and subscribe and i appreciate that because people don't have to do that for you um youtube does have their set of guidelines i have to have um a thousand subscribers four thousand watch hours before i can even be considered to be monetized and then they have to look at my content to determine if it's something that they're willing to support um and because i don't like being censored i don't know that it will or it will be or not um and i don't like censoring others either um what i do know is that mm, i want my platform to be the a safe place a safe place where we can have the uncomfortable but necessary conversations. Because I, I think about a Kindle, um, <laughs> I think about a Kindle, like a fire Kindle. Um, just a small ember can spread a wildfire and tear down an entire forest. And so all I am is an ember, a small Kindle and my hope is that my um authenticity my um transparency um my ability to look at life differently will encourage others to do the same um will will encourage others to to be um positive um cuz po with positivity there's so much that we can do um that you know we don't even think about i people often tell me how strong i am like you're so strong i, I don't see how you do all that you do and da, da 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 but it's really not being strong it's just my perspective like life is life i can't change any of the things that come towards me um those that i can control it's kind of like the serenity prayer god grant me the 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 strength to um change the things that i can and the i think it's the wisdom to accept the things that i can't i don't even know it by heart but i kind of live by that philosophy the things that i can change i will work on them the things that i can't i will pray for them um because i know that god can um i will forever believe that the world can be a united place i will forever believe that we don't have to um, i don't have to tone down who I am in order for someone else to be um, who they are. I believe that God created each and every last one of us with a purpose. And I believe that all of our purpose, purposes, our different purposes serve a purpose in this world and it's needed. So every life matters. Um, and when I say every life matters, I, I hope not to inf offend anybody um, because I wasn't even saying it in the term is if black lives don't matter because black lives do matter. And we are in a time of turmoil in this camp in this 
country. Um, and we have to get to a place where we are willing to stand and work together. We have to get to a place where we accept um, the love and support from those that don't look like us to help us overcome. We say we shall overcome. And I remember that um, coming, growing up and in, you know, it's deep in my heart. I, I do believe we shall overcome someday. And though that was a considered a old Negro spiritual, I'm, I don't look at it like that. Like I'm looking at it like the dream that Dr. Martin Luther King had that, you know, white, black, brown, red, we can all come together and be a peaceful, functioning, united society. And so I'm going to even be careful about the words that I say. Um, I will never, um, I'm learning never to say never, but I know that in these last few months, I've felt like this was the divided states of America. I'm not saying that anymore. This is the United States of America. I don't even want to say the U.S. anymore. This is the United States of America. I'm determined that my words that I speak out are positive. Um, I made the statement that um, politically what America isn't ready for. I'm not going to even speak against that. I want God's will to be done. But in the process as a people, we have a job to do. We we are account we are, have um, something that we're accountable for. Um, we have to get out and vote. We can't just vote for the, the um, president of the United States, but we have to get out and vote um, through mid year elections, um, elections for your sheriffs, for your uh, judges that will be um, taking the bench, um, for your county commissioners, for your. Um, um, what do you call them? Uh, school board commissioners for like anybody that has a say in what our society, our community should look like or is going to look like, we should vote. There should not ever be a category where it's just one person that's in there because nobody else is willing to go up against them or show something different. Um, to all of those that have paved the way, who have died, who have fought for us to have the right to vote, I thank you to those of you that um, paved the way so that we could be in a society where we have the opportunity to mix and mingle. I say thank you. And so now that we have this opportunity, I charge everybody, black, white, brown, green, whatever color you are, put aside the differences. Um, let's celebrate each other's differences. Um, Let's learn of each other's culture. I found out that um, through a DNA te test that I am 20% Finnish, Finnish, Finnish. So from Finland. So if there's somebody out there that doesn't look like me that lives in fin Finland or that grew up in Finland, I'd love to meet you. Um, I'd love to connect. I'd love to know what the culture is like. Is the culture different? Um, Cause I'm just a, I don't wanna say a little cause I'm actually old, but um, a young lady that grew up in the South. Um, I don't even think I've made it to Southern Belle status yet. You know, maybe in my fifties or sixties, I just think I'm still a, a young girl from the South. So trying to learn and trying to make a difference in this world. Um, I, I can't thank y'all enough like for supporting me and tonight like my emotions are so raw. I don't think I've ever had 20 people in my chat at one time. And so that was like cool to see um, for someone as awesome as TR to, to encourage everybody to share me out. And then there were people that came in that I didn't know, but I hope they come back. Um, it's just been an amazing journey these past four weeks and God has allowed me to meet some amazing people and cross some great paths and, and I'm grateful for it. Um, I'm, I'm thankful. I don't want to call any names because if I call names, I'm totally probably going to offend somebody um, without intent. So I just want to thank everybody. If you know you've clicked like thank you. If you know you've subscribed, thank you. If you know you've shared, thank you. If you know you've told someone about me, thank you. Um, my husband, y'all, the amount of money that I've spent just to get this channel up and 
running the back pieces that I didn't know. And there are certain things that you can do for free, but I'm like an all or nothing type of person. Like either I'm going to do it or I'm not going to do it. I, I don't have a, a, a happy medium. Maybe y'all can teach me how to work on that. Um, so I'm thankful to my husband. Uh, there's plenty of times that he's seen um, YouTube come across the account and he hadn't said <laughs> much to me. Um, and I'm grateful for it. Um, he supports me in this endeavor um, right down to creativity and um, producing and picking out my outfits and um, just helping me be my best me, making sure that Desi's squared away so I can be faithful in coming in. Um, my intent was to come on last night. I did post um, an apology that was my first time missing a live and I felt so horrible like but it was nothing that I could do I was where I needed to be um but it made me like I have an obligation to you guys um and so I'm grateful like I want to be a great steward over this channel because I know that this is what God wants me to do um to anybody that I have not um spoken with in the YouTube streets um but that wants to speak to me know that the door is always open we can always communicate know that i'm always open to um constructive criticism i'm always open to learning more because i don't know everything like i don't know i'm still learning um right down to systems and how to work systems um and i i don't mind learning i'm i'm grateful to be able to um learn how to move forward in this and so i my goal is i won't ever erase a video and so this one won't be erased and i pray that this time next year i will be playing this video as i celebrate a year on youtube so i thank y'all for following me i thank you for subscribing to me if you have not subscribed please do so um please click that button and make sure that we are connected and when you click it make sure you go up to the little double um parentheses around the bell so you can get notified when i do come on i try to send out a, a, a the notification a little bit ahead of time didn't get it out super early tonight and i know I don't, i'm not normally on on wednesdays but i'm gonna start popping up more often because i see on my pop-ups people come in more so i don't know we shall see but thank you i love you guys sending lots of love peace blessings joy your way y'all have a great night and thank you again bye